It's that time of the year again. The holiday season represents time with family and friends. We'll eat food and exchange gifts as an expression of our love. For many, it is a time to remember the birth of a Savior. However you celebrate this time of the year, I hope we can all agree to keep it safe. Unfortunately, this time of the year can hide dangers that we might not see coming. But just like any time of the year, there is some good wisdom when it comes to keeping the holidays safe. The men and women of our law enforcement and fire departments work hard to keep our community safe. They are more than willing to share with us what they've learned to keep the holidays as safe as possible. Chief Leslie Sewell of Hawkinsville talked about fire safety during the holidays where we spend more time in the kitchen. Hey, I'm here with uh, Chief Leslie Sewell. Uh, he's going to talk to us about safety uh, during the holidays and he's got some pointers to point out about your home and about your yard. And uh, Chief, just tell us a uh, little bit about how long you've been serving the people of uh, Hawkinsville and Pulaski County. Well, now you ask your hard questions. <laughs> I've been on the fire department over 40 years. Uh, I've been the chief now for 14 years. Uh, so I've been around a while. I've been involved with uh, public safety in the fire department and the EMA uh, for a long time. Got a little bit of knowledge. Not real smart, but I'm got a little knowledge. I've seen a lot of stuff. We're we're here today, and we wanted to uh, talk about a few uh, safety tips. Uh, during the Christmas season. Uh, I've talked to several groups and I've, I've come up with two or three different things that I think we need to discuss uh, in particular during Christmas. Uh, one is Christmas lights on the Christmas tree and then using uh, the proper proper lights. You know, a lot of the lights you buy are not made for outdoor use and people take in the indoor ones and take them out outdoors. And, uh, you can set your yard on fire or, or something else in the yard uh, by using the wrong thing. These, these uh, the, that are not made for outdoor use will short out when it rains. <clears throat> the other thing is, you know, a lot of people take the Christmas lights, and if you'll look on the package, it'll tell you how many can be hooked together. If it says only three can be hooked together, certainly don't put four or five or six. Some people just keep hooking it to the end of that one and the next one and the next one, and and it overloads the, uh, the wire. Uh, it will burn your house down. Uh, people don't use lighted candles too much on Christmas trees anymore, and everybody's using these little LED lights and, and these little small lights. Uh, they don't pull much current, but they are designed to, 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 uh, for whatever is recommended by the manufacturer it'll have on the, on the package. You know, don't hook no more than three together or four together. Uh, after that, you need to have another uh, place to, to plug into. Don't overload your uh, electrical receptacle. If you look, uh, I've seen people, I've walked in a house, and they'll buy these receptacles that you can plug into the wall, and you can put six and eight more things on there. You are, you are looking for trouble. It will burn your house down. I'm going to say that a lot during this thing because the things that, I want to bring out, I'll tell you that it'll burn your house down. It will. So I'm not being, uh, trying to be funny. I'm just, I'm being serious. Uh, extension cords along with lights are, the, are another thing. People, uh, they want to run everything around and hook everything together and make everything work. So they just keep running extension cords and they'll have extension cords plugged into extension cords. Uh, they'll have those plugged into, uh, into receptacles that's already got too much stuff in it, that will burn your house down. You overload those little old cords that you buy, uh, these little dollar ninety-eight extension cords, and those things will overheat, and the next thing you know, you'll have a fire in your house. Uh, so I guess one of the most uh, prevalent things that happens during Christmas is the fact that uh, uh, people overload all the electrical stuff. But there's other things involved uh, during Christmas that do the same thing. It'll burn your house down. That is having Christmas presents too close to a fireplace, Christmas presents uh, stacked on top of cords too close to a, if you got the big lights on your tree and you lay one 
uh, presence underneath it and it gets on there, that paper will, will catch on fire relatively easy. So you have to be real particular. Uh, we'll talk about the, um, the lighted candles. A lot of people like to have them around during Christmas and, and, and they use them now year around. I'm not a big believer in the things. They are, they've got a place in your home. They, they really smell good. They'll give you, uh, you know, you walk in and you say, mmm, that really smells good. What is that? And it's a candle. But if you've got grandkids and they're running around in your house playing, you really have to be particular where these candles are. That is an open flame. And if they knock those things over, it will burn your house down. It'll catch your house on fire. So be real particular with those uh, lighted and scented candles and things like that. Take a, uh, put them in a place where they won't get knocked over. Put them on a counter, put them on a shelf somewhere. Uh, just don't leave them sitting around where the kids can knock them over. Just another little tip. Uh, you know the number one cause of uh, most fires in, uh, in, in our county has been a stove, stove fires, grease fires. If you've got a, uh, if you go in there and you uh, start cooking something and, and you walk off and leave it unattended, it will catch your house on fire. I have been to more fires where people have walked off, left something on the stove, either food or grease. And grease is notorious. It'll overheat in a heart, heartbeat and the next thing you know your, your kitchen's on fire. Uh, it's the number one cause of fires in, in, in Pulaski County. It's the number one. It's either unattended food or unattended grease. Have to be real particular. And during the holiday seasons, during the Christmas season, people are, are doing a lot more cooking. And you really have to be particular. Just think about what you're doing. And uh, remember that if you walk off and leave that thing unattended, you can have a fire. Don't throw water on it. You know what happens when you throw water on grease. It will make it a, a, a bigger fire and you'll have a bigger mess. So, you know, the, the best thing to do in a home is to have a fire extinguisher handy. You can't stress that enough. Have smoke detectors in your home, have carbon monoxide detectors in your home. Uh, smoke detectors have saved a lot of people's lives. It will save your life. So make sure that you got one in your home, got more than one in your home, make sure their batteries are, are changed out. Do it every six months. They usually, people do it on the time when they, the time changes. That's a, just a, something to help you remember to change those batteries. He also warned about keeping fires under control. Outside fires, if you go out in your yard and you got a pile of leaves and you burn it, you know how many times we've had to go over there because people say, oh, I've got a fire, uh, I've got a, a garden hose laying here close by, I can watch it. Well, they watch it for a few minutes and then it burns so good they walk off. In a little while, you've got a breeze come by, it picks up those leaves and blows them, and what do you do? You set your neighbor's yard on fire, and he didn't want his burn. So you have to be real particular. Uh, outside fires are one of the things that we go to a lot. I, I can't stress enough that... Uh, don't leave fire unattended. Fireplaces also, they're great. I love, I got a fireplace in my home. But I can tell you this, when I, I go in there and I take those hot coals out of there, or I take the coals out of it, or I clean it out, the next day or a day or two after that, there's still hot coals in that thing. We have went back to people's houses where they have taken the coals out, put them in a five gallon bucket and set them on the back porch. And those caught the house on fire. You can't be too safety. You can't be too safety conscious with with uh, with hot coals out of a fireplace. That thing will. You will think it's completely out. You can almost put your hand in them coals and say, "Oh, it's out." It's, I hadn't had a fire in this thing in two days. But the next thing you know, that back porch is on fire because that plastic uh, bucket will catch on fire with those hot coals in there, and it will burn your house down. I want to just take a minute and talk about uh, space heaters. Space heaters are a big concern. When you got anything close to a space heater, whether it be electrical, whether it be kerosene, it will. If you leave it too long, 
it'll get too hot if you get too close to it. And people will go to sleep in a recliner thinking that everything's great. They got their little space heaters going and it's heating up the room good because you, you're uh, during a real extreme cold weather, they'll put a space heater in there and thinking they're doing good. And they are, they're, they're staying warmer. But they put it too close to something and the next thing you know, you've got a fire in your in your parlor or in your den or, or wherever you happen to be watching TV. That thing will catch your house on fire. Uh, I know you want to bake cookies and you want to do all those kind of things and that's great. Just stay in the kitchen, watch what you're doing and, and have a safe and happy and Merry Christmas. Corporal Craig Fowler of the Perry Police Department wants us to be careful when out shopping. Well, I work here in the community services and train division here at the Perry Police Department. I've been here 10 years now. I have a history uh, with this department working in the uh, schools with the Houston County Board of Education. I was a school resource officer assigned to Perry Middle and Mossy Creek. Um, and I've enjoyed that very much, but I've moved on now to doing our state certification program and also neighborhood watch program and crime prevention. So let us begin with shopping at stores, okay? Uh, shop during daylight hours when possible. Don't carry large packages, a lot of packages in your arm. Um, try not to carry large amounts of cash. Don't carry um, flashy jewelry. Um, remember to always keep your cash in your front pocket. Um, there are people out there that are always trying to take stuff from, from us. Um, avoid overloading yourself with packages. Also beware of strangers this time of the year because there are a lot of scams out there where people can approach you and try to take advantage of us during the holiday seasons. Uh, moving on to shopping online. Remember to um, be safe with passwords and usernames as you order stuff online. Um, if you can, uh, buy disposable uh, credit cards where um, it's a one-time use. Once you use them, you can dispose of them. Don't have to worry about passwords uh, being taken or your credit card number being stolen, possible identity theft. Um, walking to and from your car. Avoid driving alone at night. Always have somebody with you. Um, it's better to be in uh, numbers, greater numbers, um, while you're shopping or doing any kind of holiday stuff, whether it be going to parties or anything. Um, uh, deter pickpockets as you're in the stores. Uh, people are very, they'll try to take stuff out of your pocket while you're standing in line. Um, just be, a be aware of your surroundings, who's around you, who's looking at you. Um, park as close as you can to the door. You know, we understand that there are a lot of people trying to do the same thing, but if you can get close to the door, get close to the door. Um, that'll avoid you having to walk as far, and then when you have to bring your items to your car, you can um, be close to the door. Um, remember when you're approaching and leaving your car, be aware of your surroundings. Remember where you parked at. Uh, we get a lot of phone calls uh, that they can't people can't find their cars, uh, just look up and see if there's a sign or any kind of marking to tell you where you're parked at and when you go into the store. Um, don't ever approach your car alone. If you see someone suspicious close by, just turn around, go back in the store and tell somebody inside the store that you need somebody to walk you to your car. Uh, ATM machines. We all use ATM machines on a daily basis. Uh, safeguard your PIN number while using the ATM machine whether it be a drive through or in the store because there are people that are watching you punch in your ATM card. As we move on to some other safety tips let's talk about our children. If possible leave your children at home while you're shopping. Leave them with a trusted babysitter. Um, it's okay to leave them while you go do your shopping because sometimes kids seem to want to get into everything and it's easier on you and easier on them if you just leave them with someone you can trust. Um, teach children their full name, address, birthday, and who their parents are. So if they do get separated from you, they can tell somebody that we can uh, help them find the parents that might be misplaced. Um, Children uh, should never, ever go to a car alone. Don't ever send your children or even teenagers to the car alone. Um, this is an opportunity for somebody who's looking to take a child for them to do it when they see a child without an adult. Also, um, keep your children close to you while you're shopping if you do decide to take them with you. Keep them close by within an arm's reach. Um, don't let them wander off by themselves if you can avoid that. At home, 
when you try when you go back home be cautious cautious about locking your doors and windows before you leave the house um, this is the time of the year when there are a lot of expensive gifts that are under the tree in the house and people know that and they watch that so uh, what when you buy stuff at Christmas time or when you buy stuff during the holidays do not um, put your uh, high-end electronic boxes outside because then it tells the thief that they you have something expensive and a value inside your home. Um, mark your, your items that you get. This doesn't go just for the holiday season, but as soon as you buy high-end items, go ahead and mark them with identifying marks. Unfortunately, there are crooks who want to steal your gifts and even your identity. Um, what's one thing that might stick out in your mind that you just like to tell the folks about when it comes to uh, these safety issues and, and just things that you've experienced? during your time? Well, the one thing that probably sticks out the most is um, identity theft. Um, people's uh, identity is stolen so easily now with credit cards, the computer age. Um, so therefore, anytime somebody's identity gets stolen, that's something to me that's very personal to that person. That's, that's part of them that they can't get back, that they're going to uh, probably have their credit ruined and just probably even be arrested. You know, because somebody stole their identity. Um, so that's usually the one thing that sticks out of my mind at this time of the year is identity theft. Um, be aware of strangers coming to your door. Uh, if somebody comes to your door asking for assistance, be a, be more cautious than you would normally if you didn't if you knew that person. Um, people out there are trying to scam you, trying to get into your home, steal your stuff. Um, just be aware when somebody comes to the door, ask for their ID. If they say they're with the electric company or even with the city or the police department, get some identification. If in doubt, pick up the phone and call 911. If, if it's a police officer, they'll have legitimate uh, credit, uh, credentials and um, we can verify who it is at your door. Um, now hosting a party. Find alternative transportation for intoxicated people. We know that people tend to have um, holiday parties. Um, there's usually a lot of drinking going on, which is okay, but if you're going to drink, please don't drive. Always have a designated driver. When you're attending a party, have something to eat before consuming uh, alcoholic beverages. Um, keep, keep your safe limit. Know what your limit is. Um, don't overdo it. Um, is it worth getting a DUI, losing your driver's license? No, it's not worth all that. Um, also, just give yourself more time while you're shopping during this holiday season because there is a high volume traffic out there. This is when a lot of accidents happen. This is when a lot of thefts happen. So just be aware of your surroundings. During this time, you might run into this guy we call Santa. Even he wants people to be safe during the holidays and offers a little warning to parents. Santa, a lot of kids ask for electronics uh, for Christmas. What's one thing that parents need to keep in mind about those toys and electronic devices? They need to be very careful in the use of the batteries with small children because they can easily swallow them and that would be a major problem with you and a child. Thanks for watching. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Keep the reason for the season important in your life, but also keep the season safe.